Prince William and Kate's clever new plan to modernize the monarchy. The royal duo have been visiting businesses close to their hearts, and critics say it's a smart move. The Prince and Princess of Wales have had a busy week, from a visit to a forest school to a military base. Royal experts agreed that this was a good time for the couple and a smart move. Welcome to Royal Pancakes. If you are new here, please don't forget to subscribe and click the notifications bell, so you don't miss any news about the British monarchy. Meanwhile, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex made a big appearance at the Invictus Games in Dusseldorf, Germany. According to OK, Prince William and Kate visited the British Army station on the Stirling Line in Hereford and met with SAS families before heading to the Forest School at Madley Primary School. The trips bring together causes they both care about, including early development, mental health and the environment. Former BBC royal correspondent Jenny Bond said, William and Catherine seemed to have a very equal partnership. When William supported one of Catherine's causes, he deliberately held back, preventing her from projecting his authority and expertise. William's case was also reversed. She added that it was a smart move for the Welsh camp to arrange a contact that would share common goals. Body language expert Darren Stanton agrees. He said, their day at Hereford showed how much they want to modernize the monarchy. We see them deep in the jungle as a team working towards a common goal and supporting each other. They don't mind getting their hands dirty and getting stuck in. He added that both men were very approachable and wanted to deal with people. This is not William and Kate's only successful public appearance recently. The pair made a surprise appearance on Mike Tyndall's Good Guys, Bad Guys football podcast. Mike's mother-in-law Princess and also joined in the fun. They discussed the level of competition in the family, and the importance of sports in children's lives. When Mike asked Willa's children if they had inherited their natural competitive nature, Princess and replied, I would suggest just a little bit. Kate later explained, I think what's really interesting is that their temperaments are obviously very different. They are obviously still young and it will be interesting to see how they grow and develop as they continue to grow and try different sports. She added that her daughter can now play soccer and rugby at school, sports that were not available to girls at school when she was Charlotte's age.